the Top Technologies Initiative Survey with the objective to understand what are the top technology priorities and concerns for accounting professionals and how to manage and mitigate risk associated with those concerns. This survey has been taking place now for more than 20 years. This presentation will cover three major areas. First, we'll provide you with some awareness and information of the initiatives and resources available to address these findings and inform the audience of some of the resources currently available for training the staff and management of public accounting firms. Secondly, we'll inform you about the need given its impact for training the accounting firm staff and management on the top 10 technology priorities identified in the survey. According to the survey, clients of public accounting firms and executives and corporations and businesses are looking to CPAs for advice and assistance in addressing a range of technology issues. For CPAs, the need to understand technology and to achieve proficiency in the use and management of information are growing in importance. Lastly, we'll present a brief discussion and information about the study titled Accounting Education Firm Training and Information Technology, a research note. During this final video presentation, we will use the example of a small accounting firm and its effort to address the finding of this 2012 AICPA IT section survey to best equip its staff and management through training for Advent <coughs> and from the implementation of these technologies in its current and future accounting practice operation. And the overall objective of this final video presentation is to provide awareness and a general insight of this survey's finding relating to the need for training the accounting staff and management about those new technologies to stay competitive and best prepare the accounting firm for the implementation and use of these technologies. But before we begin, let's define the word training to gain a better perspective on this topic of staff and management training. Training allows preparation to better assimilate and take on the challenges of these new technologies to enhance the accounting professional operation within the firm and to best serve the needs of those clients as well as those of the accounting firm. Without training, there is no preparation. With training, there is preparation to best navigate through the changes and challenges within the accounting profession. Training allows for the smooth transition to new ways of doing business and operating. It is the path to new opportunities and to grow with the client's best interest and the front wheel of this process of embracing new technologies. Most of what I know about running came from right here in Minnesota. One of the things I've learned is that it's the, it's the whole of the training, it's the entirety of the cycle that's important and not so much the one There are some correlations and parallels between the concept of training for a running event and training in the accounting field to gain some skills, knowledge and preparation to be the best meet the client's needs, increase job productivity, enhance job performance and stay competitive while minimizing the overall cost of doing business. Training for a sport event, in this case to run a complete marathon, requires the following step. Determination, planning, preparation, research, execution of your plan, and finally evaluation and monitoring. The same principle of training for a marathon can be used when implementing a staff and management training program with regards to the firm's IT initiatives. You always have to believe that you can do it. You have to get in there and be in the hunt. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. But that was a good 20-mile uh, run training, huh? Yes, it was. But I'm so tired now and I'm so ready for some rest. Saturday mornings are a good day to do this, this long session of training. Yeah, by the way, speaking of training, did you guys read the email that we received last Friday about the AICPA 2012 Top Technology Initiative Survey results? Yes, I did. The survey is great. Uh, it provides feedback about the technology issues important to CPAs uh, for the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, it also uh, tells you about emerging technologies. I also read it. I particularly found the results on page 7 of the survey interesting. Result, especially item number 7, staff and management training. In the impact of technology initiatives this. Yeah, I also took a, a deep look at that section of the survey. 
think we should do something about our staff management training uh, program for new technologies. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I actually am, since I'm in charge of the IT department, um, I can set up something and we can look at it first thing in, uh, on Monday morning. Okay, so now who's ready for the breakfast? I am. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. go. Yeah, can you please come in? Thank you. Yes, how can I help you? Good morning, Federico. How are you? I'm good. Um, have you read the latest AICPA copy um, of the technology survey last Friday? Yes, actually yes. I did. I glanced through it, yeah. Okay, well, the um, other managing partners and I are paying close attention to, let me see. Yeah, item seven. Uh -huh. As um, this is like the staff and management trainings you can see and we feel that this is uh, a great impact on how we can embrace and incorporate new technologies into our firm to best meet the needs of the clients in our co corporation. What do you think? No, I think it's a great idea, you know, like training is key for, you know, to prepare to the, in today's world for any, you know, any firm and specifically this firm and, you know, to overcome any challenges. Okay, well, I would like for you to do some research, please, about the different training initiatives for the CPA with regards to the IT and the new technology. Sure. And can you please report back to me up this coming Friday? No problem. All right. Okay. Good morning, Svela. So, how do you feel after the long training run on Saturday? I'm feeling great now, but my hamstrings were on fire on Saturday, so I think um, that I still need to stretch my hamstrings a little bit after this long run. Okay, I see. So, have you started getting the information about the staff and man management training in order to embrace the new upcoming technology within our firm? Yes, actually, I already assigned a research project for this matter to Federico, okay. but I still think that we should all meet up here at the firm mm -hmm. and further discuss this. So let me call Armando right now. Sure. Armando, could you please come meet me at my office? Thank you. I'm here. What's going on? Hey, Armando. We are having a meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. with all our firm members in order to discuss the survey about the staff, uh, staff and management meeting. You know what, let me send an email right now to everyone. Uh, sounds great, let's get it going. Sure. so that we can discuss together the 2012 AICPA survey results but more specifically I would like to discuss what our firm will be doing for the next 12 to 18 months for our staff and management training initiatives so that we can take advantage of some of the top 10 technologies that are identified in the survey. Yes, I agree. Has everybody read the survey? Yeah, of course. Okay. Federico is actually already doing some research to find about some of the training and education resources that are out there so that we can integrate them in our training efforts and here in the firm with regards to some of these newer technologies. And does anyone have any suggestions or ideas? Yeah, actually I do. I remember reading a study that was assigned by Professor Antoinette Smith in her IT audit class. And it was about IT training uh, for firms. The study was actually here. It's called Accounting Education, Firm Training, and Information Technology. It's by Chang, and it was published in the Journal of Accounting Education. And what was the study about? Well, I remember that it described how rapid developments in information technology have posed challenges to the accounting profession. The study mainly examined what has been done to investigate whether U.S. accounting firms provide their auditors with more information on current topics than colleges do. And what were the results of the study? Well, I remember that study. Uh, the results indicate that entry-level auditors had significant more exposure to IT topics than the senior managers did. Um, yeah, I, it, that suggests that uh, professors have been incorporating more um, IT topics into the curricular in school. That is great. So this means that you recent graduates are up to the challenge of improving the IT environment and initiatives here in the firm. 
with the establishment of the formal policies and procedures for our IT staff and management training. Yeah, we are. We yeah, actually have been doing some research already on this training resources that you see in the papers I have given up. Um, we can implement this here at our firm uh, so we can keep you know, the, the, the enhancement and advent of this firm uh, with regards to these technologies in all of our daily operations. You know? I actually know, I went into the AICPA website and I actually learned about some great simulation, simulation tools that we can use here for our training. Well, Edmus, Federico, Giselle, and I um, can present on these resources this coming Friday. Yeah, that's like. a, that sounds a uh, very good idea. You like them? Well, I guess I made a great move to hire these recent graduates from the FIU MOC program. I have heard great things about Dr. Antoinette's IT auditing class. Hey, I'm looking forward to Friday's presentation of the new IT staff and management training program initiative. Uh, to keep our small firm on the cutting edge with all these new technologies, uh, we need to take advantage of this. presentation who's presenting first yeah I'm presenting first then will be Hermes to my left Sean and finally Giselle we're gonna give you guys a brief presentation on the different IT staff and management training resources currently available <clears throat> to address the training processes of some of the AICPA's identified top 10 technologies so first we're going to take a look into the resources of this so if you take a look at your screen CITP credentials and it would be great if one of us here at the firm could actually obtain these credentials. CPE or Continuing Professional Education and we will look at the list. your slide we're gonna I'm actually gonna present or actually take a look at some of the simulation um, training programs that the AICPA prom website provides to accountants in order to be able to do some training in some of the uh, relevant um, IT technologies initiatives Design is a growing retail company with stores all across North and South America. The company earns $1 billion in annual revenue through its many locations and a website that provides online purchasing for its customers. You are the new CFO for Endangered Design, and as a Certified Information Technology Professional, CITP, you are responsible for internal audit, monthly financial close, financial planning and analysis, 
and information technology. Cyber attacks were a hot topic at the recent AICPA Practitioner Tech Plus conference, and there has been some concern within Endangered Design about the company's IT security and the safety of its financial and operational information. While reviewing the latest results from the AICPA 2012 Top Technology Initiative survey, you read a Twitter post concerning a competitor that was infected by a malware attack. You decide to inquire about conducting an internal assessment to determine how vulnerable and danger design systems are to threats and how well the organization is prepared to manage the new risks associated with the use of advancing and emerging technologies. A great job, guys. I think this presentation was terrific and it will be a great start to establish a formal protocol for the IT staff and management program. Now, who is going tomorrow for the long chain run 22 miles? Remember, we are running the ING Marathon 2014 all together representing the firm. I think it will be a great PR effort for the firm and to network. Remember that just like training to enhance our professional skills, we have to train in order to be able to complete the 26.2 miles that the mar marathon requires. We will all be there tomorrow. I can already hear my hamstrings screaming at me. We are! We are! We are. Okay guys, so let's attack this running training session just the same way we will be attacking the IT staff and management training, okay? okay. So, let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it. Lo siento, Ik ben Drovik. Sono spiacente. Perdóname.